very sound, Mr. Coker. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Northern Development and Mines. Minister, your government likes to play the ring of fire card every chance you get. You played it in the throne speech a couple of years back. You played it in the last couple of budgets. You throw it out there every time someone challenges your tepid Grow North plan, while you simultaneously gut key northern infrastructure. Frankly, there's no substance to your plan and nothing to your ring of fire posturing. Years later, all you have to show for it is more high-priced help to coordinate a growing staff who are doing precious little to make the ring of fire a reality. Minister, when are you finally going to live up to all the bluster and get on with creating some You'll prosperity and life. jobs like Drummond recommended? I've got to be perfectly honest, Speaker. When it comes to the ring of fire, we won't do what this party did. We won't be absent without leadership. Tim Hudak is away without leadership. The last thing Ontarians want it was an un unnecessary election. And as we work towards realizing the potential of the ring of fire, we will work with anybody who is interested to ensure we maximize the potential that yes, is sir. the ring of fire. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Minister, how long do you think you can keep stringing people along? It's beginning to look like no one in the McGuinty way. government knows what's going on. Not MOI, MNR, NDM, MAA, EDT. Who exactly is coordinating this train wreck? Last week, Karen Beatty praised the federal government for tackling regulatory inefficiencies, and he specifically named the Ring of Fire. Meanwhile, your government can't make a decision on whether there will be a road, which direction it will go, or who will own it. First Nations want to know. Mining companies want to know. Miners want to know. What is happening with this most basic key piece of infrastructure, the road to the Ring of Fire? Here, here. Mr. Well, the reality is the road to the Ring of Fire is going to be filled with job opportunities for those in Northern Ontario. It's going to be filled with job opportunities for those in the supply and services sector of the mining industry. It's going to be filled with jobs for those who are in the exploration and the development business. It's going to be filled with jobs for those who are mining companies. The reality is those consultations, those discussions are ongoing. We are moving very, very positively and favorably because we understand as a government that in order to ensure that we maximize the potential of the ring of fire, we have to do it in a very, very yes, business-like way and in a way that ensures that potential is realized for everyone in Northern Thank Ontario. Thank you. Your question, the member from Nickel Belt.